For updates in the world of football. For Liverpool, he's seen Henderson face to face with the Bernardino. Henderson! Oh wow! Lift the Anfield roof! Company's error, yes! Formula One. Here, Imkis down the inside now comes Carlos Sainz on Lewis Hamilton. Sainz just squeezes Hamilton who goes over the rumble strip. Cycling, boxing. Basketball and lots more. Listen to us live on Sport Rush, Mondays to Fridays, 12 30 p.m. to 1 p.m. on Al Iyamoye TV Radio. For more inquiries, please call 0806 242 9799. Sport Rush, your everyday dose of sports. One, welcome to Sports Bar this morning on Ati Yamori TV and Radio. Now I am here to be. Good morning to viewers and listeners out there. I am Ibrahim for Lingley Day. I'm surely Marshall Desson the Sports. Good morning. Okay, starting with Chelsea. Chelsea have taken a 70 million pounds with our add-ons. So Brighton with Brighton have, have rejected uh, the offer. And some people are saying it's due to the fact that Arsenal uh, bought a rise of 105 million pounds and other teams are trying to uh, increase uh, the price on all other uh, players due to the fact that uh, uh, Rice, Rice, which is a, a wonderful player, was bought with a whole huge amount of money and pricing and trying to use that on Chelsea and make them pay a huge amount of money on Moises and Caicedo. Where is this transfer going to? Uh, do we see a, uh, as we have been saying, uh, Caicedo will end up in uh, uh, Chelsea, Caicedo will end up in Chelsea. Those we see these as uh, not coming to pass, saying Kaiseido will be end of in Chelsea. <laughs> Thank you, you said. Moses Kaiseido has accepted to join Chelsea. He has agreed on personal terms. The only issue there is just about the pay. pay. Yeah. What I have to say about this transfer is just look at um, Declan Rice. To me, Declan Rice is not what up to the amount paid for him because he's just an English player we can say that but he's not up to what he is given what has not bought him you know that was why the bright team were also like look at this player he was bought at 105 and most is considered you look at the stats look at the, the way the plays I was fortunate to watch their clips, to watch the way they play, the way they intercept, the dribbling, the way they do it. I was forced to to check the clip, which I say, Moses Casado was, you know, what's actually different about the two guys is just because Declan Rice tried he, he, he always moving to the box he's a box to box he, he plays moving into the box and he has goals for west ham as well even if it's not much but looking at moses like i said though when i watch the clips the guy is so superb from the defense the way he intercepts i i, 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 I look at the last season when i would play against chelsea he frustrated chelsea Towards the, the, the attack, towards the defense, the guy was just super. So Brighton was like, if the Clemens can be bought for 105, Moses Casado can should be even more than that. That's what they thought. But look at the Chelsea. The guy really wanted to go to Chelsea, but Chelsea did not want to pay up to that. You know, this I just think this transfer has just been the best for Chelsea because if it were to be to Bowley, 
Kagbagdali and the consortiums as well. I know they would have paid even more than that for Moses Casado. But the scouts, the sporting director as of, as of now at Chelsea, they were into like, this guy also is a good player, but he is not worth that amount. That amount. So, but I believe before the summer ends, before the transfer window ends, I know Chelsea actually got what they want from Moses Casado. So bringing them to Chelsea. And you also play a wait or against what? I won't get against it. Um, I still have the belief that Chelsea will still bring in uh, what Sky said. Uh, but uh, my age, the age that is just, uh, we can blame Chelsea and cannot blame them because we, we, we've known uh, the, uh, the lives of uh, Bali and Tony for spending the amount of money on players. Sometimes they don't, they don't have the negotiating power. There's one thing, there's what we call negotiating power in, uh, in, in, in business. And you don't forget, when there, there's this woman at Chelsea before, Marino Ganskaya. If we negotiate for the player, that you will not expect him to bought the player for such a for such amount. Yeah. Don't forget when you want to bring in Kayavat, Kayavat was was priced at at hundred, and eventually he brought the Kayavat seventy two. The reason why this issue is coming now, Chelsea are at fault in in, in, in a sense that before Arsenal agreed to pay one hundred five million, right? don't forget before West Ham wants ninety million for the Rice, Arsenal bring in seventy. Then. Well, uh, Brighton won 70 million on the But Chelsea are still skeptical not to pay, not to overpay. They were like to pay 55 or thereabouts. So don't forget in January, I start bringing 60 for the Moist Cassette. Uh, Brighton said they don't want to sell this guy for uh, for 60 million pounds. I just think Chelsea has uh, they, 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 they slow on, on, the, on the deal. They should have completed the deal before. Asna signed the plan right. But uh, still uh, still uh, still Chelsea will still be able to bring in um with So I think Brighton are just looking, they will just want Chelsea to sweat before they before get getting uh, the player. Because yeah. don't forget, they also want uh Levy Kobe from Chelsea. Well, Chelsea they don't want to sell Levy Kobe, which I I I saw a reason with Chelsea for them not to sell um Levy Kobe to uh, Brighton. And at the end of the day, this guy has confirmed that he wants to join Chelsea. Don't forget in January they, they, they make him not to join Arsenal. This 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 time around he has come out to grant an interview and say he really want to join Chelsea. The only thing for Brighton is to suspect that and try to sell to Chelsea if they don't want to lose this guy on a cheap price. Mm -hmm. But I still believe Chelsea will still get their man because Chelsea really need this guy in the midfield to be placed in the midfield. Okay, yeah, as we know, uh, Arsenal have made three complicated deals on Kai Avant, Declan Rice, and Duran Timber for Ed Gaspar. And since I'm stopping uh, there, he said we have the new scenes interested in the young side that I have something that Mohammed have produced. As we know, uh, they are talked about for Larry Balogun leaving uh, the team uh, with the 50 million pounds. Any uh, team ready to bring up 50 million pounds to take on uh, for Larry uh, Balogun? And, as we said, the previous program said for Larry Balogun is a one that kid. He shouldn't uh, just leave Aston. The Arsenal should keep uh, for Larry Balogun. But now that Mohamed Kudus has been introduced, you see uh, for Larry Balogun, uh, they swap uh, for Mohamed Kudus. Like, for Larry Balogun goes, and uh, we better think Mohamed Kudus is still a wonderful uh, deal for Arsenal. It's not a wonderful deal. You want to swap a striker that scored 22 goals last season for a player that only scored 11 goals. For uh, for Ajax Amsterdam throughout the stay at Ajax, I think if Mohamed Kudu is a very good asthma, it will be a light to light replacement for Bukayo Saka. Mohamed Kudu is an attacking midfielder, but he's the kind of player that is very very is a very dynamic and agility player. He can play from the left hand side, the right hand side. But my concern is being an Africa player for the kind of age. He said he is 22 years of age. We should know in an African setting, he should be at least 26, 27, 28 years old. Now, he is. I would believe Asma should prioritize bringing in a striker to replace Fulani Balogu. They, they want to say Fulani Balogu at all, not to bring in Mohamed Kudus. And Mohamed Kudus will not want to come to Asma because now, if we see it's coming to Asma, there will not be a first negotiation for Mohamed Kudus. Sure. He can't just come into Asma and that. And Mohamed Kudus, for the kind of player he is, that he has just like two or three years at, at Ajax Amsterdam, he would need a team that we play so much in. So if Arsenal eventually sell uh, for Lion Balogu for this because of Mohamed uh, Kudus, I don't see that then as being a sensible day. If they want to sell 
Roland Balogun. They should be able to bring in a goal scoring striker that can give you like 20 goals, 15 goals next season. Not more Kodos, which is an attacking player. I sometimes I, 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 I always get afraid with the player if they say the player is a utility player. Because the coach, particular coach, will not know where to use such a player. They, are, they still continue to say, Kayaba is a utility player, can play from 8, 10 position, from the right hand uh, flank, left finger, he play first now. That is where the issue comes for coach. But if a player is is having a private position, the coach should be able to say, okay, this is where I want to use this for. But being swapping for Las Balogo and Mohamed Kudos would not be a good thing for us. Yeah, uh, I, so I, I second what he said. You know, Mohamed Kudos is a good player. If you look at him at Ajax, he's a very versatile player. Dribbles, when it comes to dribbles, he's perfect. Comes, you know, the only thing he doesn't have is that goes coming up because he dribbles a lot he has the pace he has the run to move up with the, with the ball but for him to have a goal score finishing touches is not there finishing touches is not there for him so that is just the problem i have with Mohamed kudos he's a very good player but you can't just swap him for uh, for line but it's not there it's not even correlate because that does not have a striker if you don't want to bring him up do you want to convert him to a striker it's, you can't. And don't forget, we always say that some players that are Ajax, that uh, we see them performing well at Ajax, at Ajax. because of the group of players they are playing with. Yes, right. Although I can't forget uh, last Champions League uh, where Ajax, Ajax player, Ajax, Ajax player against uh, Liverpool. He scored two goals, two good, fantastic goals, sensational goals. But we can't just say because he scores for Ajax, he can just come and do it for us. No. We've seen a lot of players like that, likes of. Uh, and Tony, Akim Ziyech, and the likes. Don't know about Look at uh, Tadic. He doesn't play well at such absent. So I'm saying, yeah. But he wants to go to Ajax. He, 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 he has scored 104 goals. He is the captain. In three seasons. You can see that. 104 goals in three seasons. Whereby he doesn't score up to 30 goals in English Premier League. You can see the likes of the league and the kind of player they play with. That's just about Mohamed Kudos. Okay, so that's just about uh, Mohamed Kudos. He isn't a, a very uh, good replacement for. For Larry Baloba and Arsenal. Do you see now you want Arsenal to still retain uh, for Larry Baloba in the team or what do you see to that also? I would have played to um Gareta to give this guy chance till January. And if you want to sell a player, if I think Inter Milan on, on, on the deal, if Inter Milan, I don't think Inter Milan can sign for Larry Baloba for 15 million pounds. If Arsenal says 30 million pounds on Fulani Balogun, they should correct, but 30 million pounds, Arsenal will be great selling Fulani Balogun at 30 million pounds because he's the kind of player that has prospects. 22 years of age, scored 22 goals last season. It, it means if he's given chance at the likes of the team of Arsenal that has what world class player, he can score more goals than that. Was, Even though he can score more goals than Ibai Jesus. I was just all to Michael Acheta not to be decisive like Chelsea has been. You know, if you look at my Chelsea, yeah, when, when it comes to a player like that, Chelsea almost lost a lot of players like that. If you look at it, most players are playing in the in, in particular team. From Chelsea. If you look at it, they were like his former Chelsea player. He was, didn't perform there. He was sold out. He went, you know, all those things. Oreo Romeo that went to Barcelona, Barcelona now. now. He's, he's, also, he's also from Chelsea. He played at Chelsea. Which he didn't perform. He was say he went to Southampton. Now look at him at Barcelona. Now let's wait for him and see what we. But I know he will perform because Bosquet is no more there, so he, he, he will be he, he will be in the team. So he, I know he will perform well. So I I think Arsenal should not just be make an attack. Should not just look at it like Flyer Balogun is no nowhere to be found. It's not just let's use him. Just give him a chance to prove himself. He, he proved himself last season at Rams. So don't just believe he can't do it at Arsenal. No, because you only have Eddie Nketiah and Gabriel Jesus. So don't just sit on that. And the two of them, how many goals did they give you last season? Their goals is not even up to uh, what Fulham Balogun scored. Look at it. Chances. So you just have to give this guy a chance to prove himself till January, as he said. If he didn't perform, well, then you can now do whatever. You can even loan him back on January, or you sell him out. Okay, uh, let's take a short break from here when we get back on the break and we continue on the updates on the sport all about what to do stay with us thank you
Residents have been disappointed severely in their B2C greener pasture approach. To so those quack in the traveling agency business, it is a rocket science. That is not our case. Our Tau staff travels and tour. We have have in-depth details on how to successfully without stress help you process and secure your visa to anywhere in the world do you want permanent residential visa visiting and tourism visa student visa to places like europe america asia africa it's no big deal to us at tau staff travels and tour our years of experience and expertise speaks volume for us let's process and secure visa for you to uk usa and canada within a twinkle of an eye we offer Aj and umura services to our muslim faithfuls what what are you waiting for? Consult us at number 9, South South Central Mall, Sholanke Street, behind Laroy Hotel, Abiola Way, Abiola Hotel. 0802 0900 or 0806 578 4060. Stop wasting money. Pay for peace of mind. Talk to Tau South Travels and Tour. Fantastic boy in the 2021 2022 season, Aaron Mills Smith Rowe was very, very fantastic playing uh, a lot of assists and a lot of goals. But uh, we know what happened to him. Injury came upon him and he went down the pit. And now, Aaron uh, Smith Rowe is back into the team. You see him replicating uh, those performances. He went on in the 2021 2022 season. Now, if, if he's back, and the only thing that I'm making uh, to cement his, his, his place in the first game of Asma is for him to perform very well. Dan. The player that is played at this position, the likes of Martin Odegaard. Don't forget, uh, the 2021-2022 season where he played so much, it was Odegaard that sat on the bench for Edmund Suchu and we were indeed setting him up for. But what I just uh, understand is, it's very good to have a squad depth, to have a lot of players, but I see more of Edmund Suchu playing necessary to be from Frank. Because now look at what Mr. Garata said about uh, Kayabat. He said they want to use him at, at the back of a striker. So it means it's, it's very possible, it will, it will be possible for uh, Edmund Smith Rowe to, to come in, uh, in, in the first level for us now. And it's very, it's very easy for Mr. Garata to bench the light of Martinelli or bridge games with Bukayo Saka sometimes. And don't forget, next season, Arsenal might use first night sometimes. Next season. He might play in a Kayaba that's first okay. nine and bring in Edmund Smith Rose in order for him to win position much on the field of play uh, and, 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 and to win our uh, strikers, uh, to win our uh, opponents. I, I, I see uh, after having this kind of player at his disposal, uh, it, it will be very easy, it won't, it won't be easy for opponents to predict what Arsenal will be able to put on the field of play. What, which player Arsenal will be able to bring in to replace another? So they are all like to like player. And I still see Edmund Smith Rowe to perform very well because he, 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 he performed very well for uh, England under 20. Okay. But they won the uh, Europa Championship but with Lag level with, uh, with Kobe Madriki. So I still see him playing for us now very well next season. <laughs> yes, we're right. We're right. But I look at last season. Smith Rowe didn't you know, perform the way he's expected of. Same thing would have happened this season. The only thing they can do is just to come over the substitutes. The only thing they can just do at last night is to come in and the substitute. That is when Martin not the able even if Kayavat is not performing the way he's expected of, it can be substituted for Kayavat. It can be substituted for um, Martin not the guy. 
So I see him coming from the bench. He can't be in the first eleven team because Trossard is also there. Trossard is in the side. He's in the team as well. Coming up for Martinelli, which we believe if Martinelli isn't available, Trossard okay. will be used. Don't forget that Chris uh, Nelson. 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 Nelson is also there. So I see him most place for him this season, for him this season is to come from the bench, not a starting level. Okay, not a starting level, but to come uh, from the bench. It's a new that came up now saying uh Joao Felix said uh, his first choice when he was uh, a kid was uh, Barcelona. <laughs> he reached, yeah, played for Barcelona. Now he said he wants to go to Barcelona since uh, uh, Atletico loaned him out to Chelsea and now back to Atletico and he's not in uh, Diego Simeone's plan for next season. He might not be there but loans are coming away for a uh, round for Joao Felix and he might be loaned uh, to teams out there and now he said he wants to go to Barcelona. Joao Felix to <laughs> Barcelona. He's not even loaned. They want to send him. <laughs> they, they actually have someone to have him. You know, what happened to Joao Felix is just because the, 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 the release plot, the pay on him is too much. As in the, even the wages he wants to have is much. So Jeff Felix, he shouldn't have, he should have been Chelsea, Chelsea that would sign him to, have, uh, to, to, to sign him to stay in Chelsea. But Chelsea did not because of the money is much. So Chelsea was like, why would we have to look at what you played when you were brought in last season? What was the results given to Chelsea? Did you perform the way Chelsea wanted you to? He has only maybe four or five goals for Chelsea. Four goals. Look at it, four goals. I do want Chelsea to pay that huge amount. On you. On you. Look at when Chelsea hold on uh, Matu Kovacic. Matu Kovacic also came in as a loan player. Yeah, before he was the Chelsea bought it because he performed even more than we expect. Not about goals, but the way he does, the way he did in the team, the way he controlled the team with his ball. So I think Chelsea was like, if we have to hold this down, Felix, you have to bring down his prey, his price. You have to have a pay cut, but he's not ready to do that. No team is ready to have him. Leave him at the second where you were, you, at the second that bought him at a huge lot of money. Then they bought him as one, I think one ten or one thirteen. The boys are one uh, twenty. Look at him, bought him at one twenty. Then Africa. from Africa, he's nowhere to be found now. He's been loaned out. Even want to sold out now. You know what? I want about Jeff Felix is that uh, what is his preferred position? He doesn't even know. That, his is, that, that, that is what uh, some people don't understand. Say uh, Jeff Felix is forward. Player. Sometimes, no, that, 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 <laughs> sometimes the player. best of your Felix, you always aim for the left hand, uh, 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 for left wing. Let's look at the World Cup. He scored like two goals at the World Cup. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the player that they always bring in for him. That is Rafael Leal. Rafael Leal, yeah. Don't forget, Ronaldo will be the striker. You be the point man, and you will see your Felix from the left man, and you will see the best of your Felix. Now teams will now sign him. You will not be seeing your Felix in the middle. You say you want you want freedom. You want to do some things that sometimes you should you, should, you are not able to do it when when a team is built on you. The one thing about your Felix is that he cannot do more than what he's doing. Mm -hmm. That's my point. You know, so there are some players you expect them to live up to expectation. Of course, they are doing well at the team you bought them for because the team is smaller. And the team is coming, the, is, is coming to. The responsibility is on him on that team. And when the responsibility is on you on a particular team, it's like the issue of lies of uh, the lies. The kind of performance that the lies will, will, will give to us now will be similar to what is given at West Ham. But people will be expecting him to give more than that because they're expecting that is a big team. But they should, they should not forget that at West Ham, the team is built around the lies. And the kind of freedom he has at West Ham, he cannot have it at Arsenal. Yeah, because they have players that can do such. So, Joe jo Felix at Chelsea, he doesn't do up to what we expected from him. Sometimes, players always thought goal scoring is the best way no. to show your ability. Sometimes, you can give a sixth. In fact, the way you play on the field. Last season, when he, when he played for Chelsea, he saw a lot of goal scoring opportunities and he misses it. So, I, I, I can vouch if Joe Felix saw 10 goal scoring chances. Joe Felix will score two. He will score two, two, uh, he will score two and a half. The half, the, <laughs> half, the, the, half. the half will be, we eat the pool. <laughs> the others, other, other seven, one will score, uh, like three will score, and they will say it's offside. The other <laughs> will play to the goalkeeper, some others will play to the uh, 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 after 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 <laughs> Because it's not a kind of player that you can rely on. 
And I don't think Barcelona can buy Joa Felix. I, I, I don't think. Not even they are... Where they are suffering for financial fair pay. <laughs> to, but Joa Felix will not collect more than 200 million pounds. Barcelona cannot pay it. The, the transfer fee, Atletico Madrid cannot bring down the price to 30 million. They would rather sell their place for 70 million and can Barcelona do such? Hmm. They can't. And if you go to Barcelona, it will affect the performance of these young game players at Barcelona. And Barcelona cannot. Barcelona will not. Even on loan, Barcelona will not bring the win. Joao Felix to Barcelona not even a no-go area go for Joao Felix. Okay, yeah. Atletico are also interested in sending uh, Verratti from PSG. Marco Verratti. This is a very good signing. This is a very good signing for Atletico. He, he can be signed. Because Marco Verratti was, oh, he's, also a, a, he's also very, how do I call him? I want to give him a, a, a word because looking at Marco Verratti in the team, looking at him, the way he plays, he's very aggressive. Yeah, smart. Marco Verratti is not just a flexible player that you think we just be, no. Marco Verratti will attack you, will push you, will make you, will let you know that I'm behind you. If you want to play, play forcefully, play well. So Marco Verratti, if you, if Marco Verratti was eventually where yeah, Atletico got him, it would be a very good signing for my um, Atletico and it would be a good signing for him as well, coming to Atletico Madrid, looking at another side of, you play really well, you want to test of La Liga, you want to see how it goes there. So if you can come to uh, uh, Atletico Madrid, it will be a good signing for Atletico Madrid, as for him as well. As I said, he's a very aggressive player, and if he eventually joins Atletico Madrid, I think Atletico, we have a player in the sense of their coach. It's been long, it's been long Atletico Madrid has such a player. You, if you look at our past, uh, our Atletico Madrid, we have the guy like Gab, uh, uh, Gabi, Koki, we have Diego Costa, the lion on himself. Condobia. They have a, a lot of players that, if, if you see, if you see Atletico Madrid team, you will not be, you will not want to play. They have a dual front. Body. You will see, you will not want to play at a school. And if you see that Verratti, very aggressive. On the top play, yellow card is not new to Verratti. Mm -hmm. oh. So yeah. when uh, Diego Simeone get the kind of player he wants, I think a nice thing, uh, uh, the uh, Real Madrid and Barcelona should fear. They will say fear. They will be fear. Atletico. Okay, I've come to the end of Sports Vile today on Iyamo TV and Radio. Don't forget to subscribe. To our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for more programs like these. I remain here to tell you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining. I will always give you the best on Aliyamui TV and the radio. And I am Ibrahim Oli Bile. I'm sure Oli Moshe SM Sports. Goodbye.